Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my The Quarry Blind Playthrough. And this is episode 14. And finally we'll hopefully find out what happened to Laura and Max from the first episode. Call out, yes. Max. This is in the past, either way. So, come here. Come here. Get in there. Fucking do it. That didn't sound disconcerting at all. <laughs> you goddamn kids. Is that the cop? Interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Compliant. Laura Kearney, angry. Fuck you. Let's be compliant. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Okay, Ted Raimi. <laughs> Angry, I'm not saying shit. Compliant, okay. Let's be compliant. Because I want to know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp. And we're broke. Mm-hmm. Annoyed, that sheriff badge doesn't mean a lot. Fascinated. Okay, sheriff. Yeah, let's be fascinated. Okay, sheriff. Hack it. Wait. Hack it? Like, Chris Hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on The cop man? is losing his patience. You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit young lady and your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say do you understand compelling stop trying to scare me angry stop yapping let's be begging Just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on Yes, please. I would love to get some answers. Is Max alive? Probably not. 
Not in the way you think. I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Oh, she's gonna show him. Uh, no, I'm not gonna cause a fuss. He's gonna show her Max. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. What else? What the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Worried, are you okay? Dismissive, it's not gonna help your screaming. Let's be worried or concerned. Max. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean I'm I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Laura Path updated. Yeah. Why am I naked? <laughs> what? We've all asked that question once or twice yeah, in our lives. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. To be fair, you do have your boxers I mean, what on. What the fuck happened? Disappointed. I hoped you would know. Suspicious. He wanted me to confess. Disappointed. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. <laughs> that is the worst town better. name ever. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Did you say they couldn't? Sarcastic, don't need your permission. Compliance, sorry sir. Let's be sarcastic, I fuck him. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. <laughs> through the bars come on your turn let's go I'm not going anywhere we can talk right here come on hey hey let's get go. the fuck off come on move good boy This hey, is super weird, snuggling. and I'm really curious how they are gonna worry. Let him alone, serious, calm, Max. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Yes. This is a fight you're not gonna win, son. You're handcuffed, and he probably has a nightstick. He will whip your ass. It stays from Sunday. Gotta be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. 
As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Clue discovered. Jottle's limerick. Need some sort of lever. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. I would be cautious about sticking my hand in there. Easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Shit. The second you get out. Scared. We answer your questions. Aggressive. What do you mean by that? Well. Wait, it's quite clear hey, what he means by that. Questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Serious, are you okay? Playful, how you doing? Let's be serious. You okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we we're going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? I feel like Dylan isn't the only stoner in this group. <laughs> Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... 
What? Suspicious, some kind of trap, thoughtful. He doesn't act like a kidnapper. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... No, but he's still he's acting, acting really, like really weird. Either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Encouraging. It won't be forever. Frustrated. Relax. Let's be encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean... I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not going to let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to study to be a vet, and you're... going to... Um... What? I'm going to what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. No. <laughs> it just fell out. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. Sarcastic. Perhaps. Sorry, I lied. Let's be empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Path updated. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Max appreciates your sympathy. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Think, yeah, that is concerning. I think it's interesting Especially that she is covered it. in blood. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. And she hasn't okay. done so like a single thing to try to wash it off. <laughs> there's nobody there. And we get attacked by... Something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? 
Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What is this werewolf thing? What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> werewolf? <laughs> and I'm gonna end this episode right here. <laughs> Sorry if it was a bit of an abrupt ending. But I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.